Hey girl, how you doing? I hope all is well with you today. Um, let's jump into a reading, girl. Okay, and we got Mr. Dunn Lemon in the building. Get him uh, a round of applause. You're probably asking, why is Dunn here? Girl, I don't know. I don't know. Dunn was trending. Um, I think last week I had made a list of people I was going to read on because they was trending. And girl, I didn't get around to Dunn last week. Girl, I, I opened up my um to-do list to see who was on the list. Girl, Dunn was up next. And I like, who am I to skip over Dunn? Because he made the list for some reason. So we're going to kind of pull some cards on Dunn Lemon just to see what can we expect from Mr. Lemon for 2023. Okay. Quick reading, girl. So let's see. What can we find out from Mr. Don Lemon? What can we expect from Don in 2023? Because I think Don wants some attention. He just don't know how to go about getting it. So we're going to give him a little attention today. Okay, if you will. Thank you. Divine Angels, if you will, please give him the best cards from this deck too. Let us know what can we expect from Don Lemon in 2023. What do we need to know? What can we expect from Mr. Don Lemon? Okay. Is he going to be a person that we're interested in? Or he's just going to be... You know, just done. Girl, let's find out. Okay. So, let's see what's the best part to come out for Mr. Lemon, honey. Mr. Lemon don't seem like a bad person. He, like, he may have some skeletons in his closet. But, you know, who are we to go in his closet and pull out his skeletons? Girl, I don't care what's in that man's closet. But, you know, we'll see what we can expect from Mr. Dunn. Okay. We do know, I do know he was born March the 1st. Okay. So, it seems like he is a Pisces. Okay, and he is also a uh, journalist for CNN. So, okay, good for you, Mr. Don Lemon. So, what we can expect from him right now, we got this queen, this King of Wands energy. Oh, we got that big D energy. Did y'all know? Did y'all have a clue, girl? Now, I don't know if Don wasn't using on y'all this big D energy. I that's neither here nor there. But he is showing up with the big D energy. With the king of wands here. It seems like he's very motiva motivational. Inspiring. He may be even theatrical. Okay. Very theatrical girl. Okay. Okay. But it says he's also very ambitious. And I, and I believe that with him. Okay. Um, to be a uh, African American um, journalist on CNN. Uh, you know he had to put in that work up. Or put in that big D word. He put he used that big D or, or his education to get up in there. But he's in now. Okay. But it says take a leadership role, Don Lemon. Okay. Because right now, he may not be so much of a leader. You may not see him as a leader. If anything, when I look at him over there on CNN, not that he's a follower per se. But, you know, he ain't he ain't the big man on the block. He ain't the one that's calling the shots. So, but that, this, this card said, if you're going to walk around with that big D, Go ahead and, and, you know, act like it. Put a little energy behind it. Okay, take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Okay, not in a bad way because you, you almost stepped into the spotlight in a bad way. Okay, the people were looking at you funny. So, they said step into the spotlight right now. Do more public speaking. Keep your eyes on the big picture and communicate your vision. And don't be sensitive to criticism. Please don't, baby, because I'm telling you, honey, if I know anything, honey, if you get a little sense of viral, girl... People come out the woodworks coming at you. Girl, you got to have some tough skin, baby, if you plan on going viral in 2023. Okay? So, it looks like, you know, he got the big D energy. He just needs to step into that role. So, we'll see if Mr. Lemon can do that. Next, we got, uh-oh. Okay, now, he don't try to step into that big D energy. I don't know if CNN trying to have that with his 501s. Because it says there's going to be some kind of conflict with others caused by opposing opinions. So, honey, people ain't going to be agreeing with Don, y'all. It says, but it says, Don, walk away from the drama unless the situation is worth your time. And then you stand up. Okay, you hear me? You stand up. And then, but it says very ambitious people. So, it says stand up when it comes to your career. Okay. Don't keep on being pushed around in the, in the news center, baby. Okay. It's time for you. You've been there long enough. Stand up. Okay. Take a leadership role, okay? They say even if they don't give it to you, take it. But girl, uh, as a black man, can you take something in, in, in the white establishment? Probably not. You probably need to done, you probably need to go somewhere else. But but it says stand up and it says there's gonna be some conflict with others. And but it said if you believe in what you believe in, stand up for your right, okay? Because you could, you know, be standing up, you know, it could be ambition for you, it could push you to the next level, okay. But then we got the dreamer, honey. 
It says a new start. Trust yourself. It says push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. So it seems like he probably don't stood up to the wrong person in the CNN building, baby. And they don't push them out. But, okay, they pushed him out the door. But don't worry. Um, I think he got a good reputation for himself that he can go somewhere else. You know, if they're not if they're not going to see your work at CNN, baby, go somewhere else, okay? It says time for a new start, but you need to trust yourself and don't be scared, okay? Because you probably been stuck at CNN because you were scared to move. But we got the high priestess. It says meditate and turn inwards to discover your soul's true desires. Uh-uh, Mr. Dunn, let me got deep up in this reading. I like it, okay? I don't see much drama, you know, maybe standing up for himself and want to go to the next level. And he deserve it. He's been out there for a long time. And for me to know his name, girl, and I don't be, girl, I don't be paying attention like that. You know, he haven't been putting his name out there in a bad way. So I just hope that he can, you know, stand up and make a real name for himself because he's been in the business long enough to be known. Okay. If Andy Cooper and, I mean, Cooper and Andy and all, Anna Cohen and Andy Cooper, whatever that man name, girl, because he coming up next. They coming up next, girl. But it says, you got to meditate and turn inwards to discover your soul's true desire. This is not a time for action. Develop your intuition gift and trust your wisdom that you receive with the high priestess. So, I don't know if he's planning. Okay, right now is the time for planning. Make sure that you know what you're doing, baby. Know, know where you're going before you... Stand up to these folks in this in this office, honey. And the girl, they may not take take heed to it. So we got the world. We got a brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. Okay. So it seemed like he did stand up with the big D, baby. I, you know, slap somebody in the face with the wand and stood up for himself. And now it seems like the world is his oyster. It's like it's a brilliant time for him with a, a lot of accomplishments. Okay, and he could be proud of himself with the magician. Uh oh, he had to pull out that magic wand for real, baby. That wand, baby, what you do with that wand? Okay, it's none of my business. Whatever he did with it, he advanced. Okay, because we got the magician here. It's like magic is alive in your life. What you need to be successful will manifest if you believe it. You can do it. Okay, so he pretty much got to believe in himself. Okay, I don't know who who been around him that told him that he couldn't do something. Okay, in the CNN building, but girl. He got um he got all the tools he need to pretty much stand up and be that man, okay, with the big like I said, I ain't never seen him with a big D energy, but honey's car saying he got it. He just need to stand up with it. He can take a leadership role. And stop always being the the uh the other. The other on the set, okay? Okay, so let's see what's going on with his love life real fast. Let's jump into a love reading. What can we expect when it comes to love for Mr. Don Lemon, honey? He got the big D energy. I know he ain't gonna let it waste, is it? You gonna put you gonna put the big D on ice? Let me know. So so far, y'all, it looked like it may be some type of engagement issue. Okay, we got the engagement ring that came out first. It's like engagement, a partnership now. Now it says a partnership, y'all. Okay. That could be anything for Mr. Dunn. It says, but there is some type of uh, union, uh, a commitment here with his partner, whoever that is. That is. It says healing heart. It says healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addi addictions. Okay. Some type of addiction I issue here from the past that may have hunted his previous relationship. Uh, but it says that it's a time for healing right now. Healing his heart um, may have... It seemed like he done probably experienced some toxic um, relationships in his past. But we got abundance. It says keep a positive mindset. So it's all about him manifesting. Just believing in, him, in himself and manifesting when it comes to his career and in love. It says manifest exactly what you want done. Okay. No more trying to do what you think people want you to do. Do what you want so that you can have true abundance, okay? So that the, so you can have true success in your heart, okay? Fo follow your true purpose. Next, we have love here. It's an unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, or attraction. Oh, okay. Then we got the golden mirror. Somebody is self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing, being stabbed in the back, heartbroken, pain, separation, deception, shock, and attack with, from his soulmate. A soul connection, again, a partnership, agreement, or some type of soul contract. So, it seemed like, you know, Donna had some toxic um, relationships in his past. Now, I don't want to say he toxic because he just don't give me toxic. He don't. But it seemed like he would be the one that's being 
you know, tossed around. Um, but like I said, we got engagement and love. Okay. Now he is looking for a partnership in true love if he don't already have it. Now he could possibly have it, but if he do have a relationship right now, I don't think it's the most positive one right now because in the middle of his love reading, it is some heartbreak with a toxic relationship with somebody that could be a narcissist. It could be a one-sided relationship that he's trying to hold on to. And he's trying to have abundance and keep a positive mindset about this relationship, but there's it's a lot of pain that's coming from this relationship because for some reason he thinks this person is his soulmate, okay? But then it could be some type of soul tie, okay? Because if it's toxic and you hold on to it, you need to learn from it and, and release it. But it because it's a um, soul connection, it's hard to release this one. So it seems like he needs to manifest um, his true career and his true love, okay? He needs to set what he wants, okay, and stand up for his rights. So that's going to be the reading for Mr. Dunn Lemon. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch me on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.